What's up everybody, Takedown here. Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm sharing with you my thoughts and predictions on this year's SummerSlam. SummerSlam is only days away. It does look pretty interesting right now and I doubt they're gonna change the match cards. So I have all the matches in front of me and we're just gonna go right through it. So I'm gonna start off with the kickoff matches. Up first we have the Raw Tag Team Champions, the B Team versus the Revival. Honestly, the Raw Tag Team Champions, in my opinion, should be defended on the main card and not the kickoff. But it is because it's the B team now. I did want them to win it just to give other opportunities for other tag teams on the roster and not just the top ones. I think the Revival is going to win. I think it is their time, so that is my final prediction. Next up, Rusev and Lana versus Almas and Vega. Honestly, I think it's going to go to Rusev and Lana. I'm glad Rusev got a chance for the WWE Championship not long ago. I think he's going to get another shot in the future, so I think winning this match is going to give him more opportunities, so I'm going to say Rusev and Lana for this match. Next up, WWE Cruiserweight Champion Cedric Alexander versus Drew Gulak. Honestly, I've always been a fan of Cedric. I think he's going to win it. I really would rather see him retain it, so my prediction is Cedric Alexander is going to retain the Cruiserweight Championship. Next up is the SmackDown Tag Team Champions, the Bludgeon Brothers versus The New Day. As I said before, I'm a fan of the Bludgeon Brothers. I'm also a fan of the New Day. I would honestly like to see Luke Harper win the United States Championship and have a kind of single singles role for a while. I think that'd be interesting. Hopefully in a couple months, I'd like to see that. But for this match, I'm going to give it to the New Day. I don't know why. I just think they're going to get an opportunity for it. And I think in the future, it is going to really get things going with SmackDown. So I'd like to see New Day win the SmackDown Tag Team Championships. That's my final prediction. Next up, Finn Balor and Constable Baron Corbin. Always been a fan of Corbin, always have been, likely always will be. I don't like his Constable role right now. I think that is a crappy gimmick for him. I do understand why they shaved his head because his hairline was receding anyways, but I think they could have picked a better gimmick for him. I just don't like it. But for this match, I think it's going to go to Corbin. If Balor does win, it's going to open up opportunities for championships for him in the future, but final prediction is going to be for Cor Corbin. Next up, United States Champion Shinsuke Nakamura versus Jeff Hardy. As stated in the last WWE pay-per-view prediction, I'm a huge Jeff Hardy fan. I really think Jeff Hardy's going to win this match. That is my final prediction. I really want to see him win the United States Championship again. But if he doesn't, I would like to see him go on to face AJ Styles for the WWE Championship. I think that'd be pretty interesting to see, and I would honestly love to see it. But something tells me there's going to be some interference in this match by Randy Orton. So I think Shinsuke might retain just if there's interference. But my final prediction is going to be for Jeff Hardy. Next up, Daniel Bryan versus The Miz. This is a match that everybody's been wanting for the longest time. Whenever Daniel Bryan was the GM for SmackDown. Honestly, I think Daniel Bryan is going to win. But my prediction is going to be for The Miz, just because it's The Miz. I think Miz is going to have more opportunities in the future, bigger and better matches. So final prediction is going to be The Miz. I'm a huge Miz fan as well, so right there's a giveaway. Uh, SmackDown Women's Champion Carmella versus Charlotte Flair versus Becky Lynch in a triple threat match. Honestly, I'm not a fan of Charlotte Flair. I do not like her at all. I don't like her gimmick. I've never liked her in the WWE. I don't know why. I'm just not a fan. Becky Lynch, I could see her winning the SmackDown Women's Championship again, but I want to see if Carmella can retain. I think it'd be pretty interesting if she could, because she, going into this match, even though she's the champion, everyone considers her the underdog, and I'd like to see her retain. So that's my final prediction, Carmella retaining. Next up, Intercontinental Championship match, Dolph Ziggler versus Seth Rollins. They're going to have people in their corner. It is going to be pretty intense. I think it's going to be an amazing match. I would like to see Dean Ambrose really get involved. I think Seth Rollins is going to win just because he has Dean Ambrose in the corner. And I would like to see Seth Rollins win back the Intercontinental Championship. That's just my opinion. But I think if he does, it's going to get Dean Ambrose thinking and maybe Dean Ambrose will turn on him eventually for the title. That would be an interesting uh, show of events. So Seth Rollins is my final prediction for that match. Next up, we have Braun Strowman versus Kevin Owens. It is supposed to be for Braun Strowman's Money in the Bank briefcase. I really would like to see Kevin Owens win. That is my final prediction. However, I think Braun Strowman is going to win. It is going to be really weird. I think Braun Strowman is going into it the stronger guy. But I'd like to see what happens. I'd like to see if Kevin Owens can win and become Mr. Money in the Bank. Because if he does, I think he's going to cash in the Money in the Bank briefcase 
at SummerSlam on Brock Lesnar. I think that'd be pretty interesting. So my final prediction is going to be Kevin Owens. Next up, the Raw Women's Champion, Alexa Bliss versus Ronda Rousey. Honestly, I'm not a fan of Ronda Rousey in the WWE in championship position. I think she's okay in the WWE. I'd like to see more out of her, but I don't want to see her as a champion yet, if that makes any sense. I am a huge fan of Alexa Bliss. I think she should retain the championship. So even though I'm likely going to get this wrong, my final prediction is Alexa Bliss. I think there might be interference with this match. I think it'd be pretty interesting, but hopefully Alexa Bliss can win. That's my final prediction. Next up is WWE Champion AJ Styles versus Samoa Joe. I would like to see Samoa Joe win the championship, but not yet, if that makes any sense to you guys. I think Samoa Joe is going to be WWE Championship really soon in the future, but I really want to see if AJ Styles can win because I really, really want to see AJ Styles versus Jeff Hardy for the WWE Championship. I think that right there is a dream match for me, but something tells me Samoa Joe is going to win. So my final prediction is going to be AJ Styles just because I want the Jeff Hardy match to happen. So that is my final prediction. Next up, the last match is the Universal Champion Brock Lesnar versus Roman Reigns once again. Honestly, I think Brock Lesnar is going to drop the title because he is going to be going into the UFC very soon. I just didn't want it to be on Roman Reigns. I don't know why, but to beat Brock Lesnar for the Universal Championship, and you already know he's going to lose the championship because he has a UFC contract in the works, I just didn't want it to be Roman Reigns. Not that I'm, a, I'm against Roman Reigns, but... I really wanted Bobby Lashley. I think that would have been a great Bobby Lashley story of him returning to the WWE and then beating Brock Lesnar for the Universal Championship. My final prediction is either Roman Reigns is going to win this match or Braun Strowman or Kevin Owens are going to cash in the Money in the Bank. Whoever comes out of that match, I think they're going to cash in the briefcase. And I think it'd be pretty interesting if Brock Lesnar were to win and retain the Universal Championship. And then Money in the Bank gets cashed in on him and then he loses. I think that would be a very interesting story. But something tells me WWE is not going to go for it. I think they're going to make Roman Reigns win it because that's what they already have in our mind. And then somebody's going to cash in the briefcase on Roman Reigns. So we will see what happens. But this is my predictions on SummerSlam. Comment down below what you think is going to happen. It is pretty interesting. I do like a lot of the matches. I just hope WWE delivers. Anyways, I'm going to leave this here. hope you guys did enjoy. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Please take care. Peace.